Welcome to this first video uh, of the series on Arabic vocabulary. In this series, we are going to learn some new Arabic vocabulary, inshallah. I hope you would like this series. And let's get started with this first short story about a boy and a shopkeeper. Let's get into this. Al Waladu means the boy. Because of this alif lam, which is the definite article of Arabic language, like the definite article of English language, T H E D, when D is combined with another noun in English language, that word becomes a definite noun. Similarly, this noun is a definite noun, it means the boy. Wa, wa means ain't, I've written here. Wa means ain't. Whenever you use wow between two nouns, this is a conjunction and it means and. Al Bakalu. Again, you see, this is the definite article of Arabic language, Al Alif Lam. It is not part of the basic original noun. Uh, we have actually combined it with it later. It is actually Bakalun. Bakalun, this is how you will find a noun in a dictionary in this form. Bakalun, without the alif lam. Bakalun, okay. Alif lam is combined with it and then it changes into a definite noun, which means uh, Bakalun, only Bakalun, when alif lam is not attached to it, uh, means a shopkeeper, okay. And when you combine prefix to it alif lam then it becomes al baqalu which then means the shopkeeper okay the shopkeeper okay dhahaba waladun okay this is verb and this is the doer okay fa'lun and it's fa'il okay dhahaba waladun a boy went now, dhahaba means going, okay, uh, to go, but this is the fast tense. When you translate it, you have to translate it uh, into English as a past verb, like he went, okay. Uh, and also, this siga, or word of this verb, is for masculine gender. Uh, if you have studied Arabic grammar, you would know it very well, okay. So, this is for that purpose. Uh, the, 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 this verb this form of the verb is for masculine and for feminine what would it be it would be the habat she went okay this is for feminine the haba waladun now the haba means he went and it's fairly mozare is fairly mozare is Yadhabu, which means he goes or he will go. And also, from Arabic grammar, you are aware that in Arabic we have al fi'l al muzari which can mean also the present and uh, which can mean the present as well as the future. Okay, so dhahaba means he went, yadhabu means he goes or he will go. It can mean both of these things. He goes or he will go, and dhahaban. The haban is its verbal noun. Verbal noun means master. Okay, master or verbal noun is a noun that is that has been derived from the verb, and it shows action, but it is not a verb. It is a noun. Like in English, we have jigrand. Okay, so the haban means going. Okay, all uh, the time, whenever you want to translate master into English, you have to add ing to that translation okay so for example the haba means to go its verbal master is verbal noun master is the haban you have to add uh, to the word go ing so it will become going okay the haba waladun the a boy went ila hanudi baqalin to the shop of a shopkeeper Hanut means shop and Baqalin a shopkeeper. Liyashtariya. This lamb is for in order to. Liyashtariya in order to buy. Minhu from the shop. Tamaran dates. Minhu from that. From the shop. Okay. This who refers to shop. Minhu tamaran from him. Tamaran uh, dates. Bisitina dirhaman. With 60 dirham. 
which means he wanted to buy in order to buy minhu from the shop tamaran bisitina dirham dates worth 60 dirham okay now let me explain it a bit here liyashtariya lam is for another two and yashtariya is a verb and uh, it is from ishtara yashtari ishtara an okay ishtara means he bought yashtari means he buys and ishtara an is again verbal noun which means buying okay here we don't have yashtari instead we have yashtariya there is fat on the last uh, letter that's because of this lam this lam which is used uh, f to give the meaning of in order to for that purpose this word is used in order to meaning okay in order to so whenever you use such a lam it will give fatha to the last uh, letter but this is but that's grammar we will discuss it uh, in in the other series Liyashtariya, in order to buy minhu from that shop, Tamaran dates, Bisitina dirhaman, word 60 dirham. Fanawalahul baqalu. Fanawala, fa, so. Na wala. He gave, he handed over, ho, to him, the boy. Al baqalu, the shopkeeper. Okay. Fanawalahu, so he gave to the boy, who is for the boy. Al Bakalu, the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper gave to the boy Tamaran dates. He gave him dates. Wa Ankasa and Ankasa. Ankasa means to reduce, okay? To make something less. Wa Ankasa and he reduced. Ankasa Yunkisu in Kasan. Ankasa means he reduced. Yunkisu means he reduces or he will reduce. And in qas means reducing, which is a verbal noun. Wa anqasa lahu, and he reduced lahu for the boy. Fil wazni, fil in wazni, in the weight. When he was in the measurement. When he was measuring the tamar, he reduced the weight. He didn't give, uh, he didn't hand over to him. Uh, uh, dates worth 60 dirham instead he gave him less than that faqala so fa so qala said al waladu the boy the boy said limadha now limadha is why okay limadha means why le for madha what literally means for what okay so english we use why instead of saying for what لماذا why هذا التمر these dates now this is singular هذا التمر this date but in Arabic they refer to dates by using singular noun in English we don't do that we use plural noun that's why I'm translating this singular noun as a plural noun in English language okay that's why لماذا why هذا التمر these dates خفيف الوزن are لماذا هذا التمر؟ why why هذا التمر؟ are these dates خفيف الوزن of lightweight؟ why are they lightweight؟ خفيف الوزن means lightweight. this is a relative clause which we will study in the other series. I can't explain it here because it will take a lot of time. لماذا هذا التمر خفيف الوزن؟ why are these dates khafiful wasni lightweight why are they not worth 60 dirham why are they you know reduced in weight fa ajab al baqal fa so ajab al baqal ajab yujibu ijaban means to answer someone okay so fa ajab al baqal the baqal the shopkeeper answered what did he say this is what he said fa'ajab al-baqal the shopkeeper answered answered likay 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 because or in order to yakhifa alayka hamluhu in order to 
s uh, reduce uh, 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 the, the on you it's uh, it's carrying you know this is what it means yakhifa means to reduce something in weight to make it less heavy okay and alayka means on you hamluhu hamlun hamlun means carrying something and you know? who referring to the tamar the dates likay yakhifa alayka hamluhu uh, in order to make it easy on you to carry them okay in order to make it easy on you to carry them in order to make it easier for you to carry them okay like in order to yakhifa make it less heavy alayka on you hamluhu it's carrying this is what it literally means wa talaba wa and talaba asked for demanded the shopkeeper actually who is in this verb already because you know that talaba is used for masculine noun for uh, yeah masculine gender so there is who are already and who is referring to al-baqal wa talaba minhu and demanded minhu from him from whom from whom from the boy wa talaba minhu and he, uh, he you know uh, it means uh, the baqal the shopkeeper minhu demanded minhu from the boy an nuquda money cash okay fadafa al waladu ilayhi fa again so dafa al waladu dafa yadfa'u means giving okay fadafa al waladu so the boy gave uh, ilayhi to him to the shopkeeper fadafa al waladu so the boy gave Ilayhi to him, khamsina dirhaman, fifty dirhams. You know, instead of giving him sixty dirhams, he gave him six uh, fifty dirhams. Khamsina means fifty. Fakal al baqal. So the shopkeeper said, "Inna indeed, thaman al tamari, the price of the dates, situna dirhaman. It is sixty dirham." لماذا أنقصت؟ لماذا؟ why again؟ أنقصت؟ it is again أنقص أو ينقص أنقص which means to reduce and reduce something. so أنقصت is referring to the person when you're talking to somebody because it is for مخاطب second person. okay؟ what for second person؟ you you know that from Arabic grammar you can't explain everything here. sorry. أنقصت why did you make it uh, less, you know. Why did you reduce it? لماذا أنقصت? Why did you reduce it? فأجاب الولد. You know, the shopkeeper is asking him why did he give the shopkeeper less money than he uh, owed uh, to him? Okay. Why did he give him less money? Why did he give him less money? This is what he is asking basically. فأجاب الولد. Now this is a, a very uh, good comment. فأجاب الولد so the boy answered again أجاب means to answer okay الولد the boy كي كي in order to أسهل عليك that I make it easy for you عد النقود the counting of this cash you know the boy is you know the boy is telling the shopkeeper that I wanted it to be easy for you the to count these um uh, these coins the the cash you know so he gave him the same reply which he had got from him uh, a little while earlier okay so kai means in order to for this purpose you know usahila uh usahila means sahala yusahilu tasheelun sahala means he made it easier Yusahilu means he makes it easier or he will make it easier. And the verbal noun, tashilun means making something easier. Alayka and you. Ka is for the second person and alayka is ala which means on you. Addan nukud. Addan nukud means Addan nukud. Addan means addun. Means, you know, counting. And an nukud, coins. Money, cash. Okay. 
thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel then subscribe now inshallah we'll make some more videos as well